Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. All right guys, I wasn't gonna do a full demo, but I will go ahead and do it. So this is a 2010 Cadillac CTSV. I, I didn't mention that earlier. I didn't. I wasn't sure of the the uh, the year. Uh, he asked me to clean the driver's seat because that's the one that gets used the most, and it usually gets the most soiling on it. This particular driver's seat has some well, lots of soiling on the the leather parts. So you can see the oil, the body oils, and that kind of thing. Get you know, got it looking all kind of slimy, but also on this uh, suede Alcantara type uh, insert, you can see that it's a little discolored and that kind of thing. And what I'm going to use today is my Amec, the antimicrobial everything cleaner, which is what I recommend. Well, you can use it on the outside or the inside, but the benefit to it is cleaning up the interior. So you're actually killing the bacteria and that kind of thing, as well as removing the dirt and soiling and oils and that kind of stuff. So it has more than just the cleaning benefit it is the actual removing the microbials that cause viruses and that kind of thing so it's cool uh, to use that versus the infinite purpose cleaner it has a it does a great job cleaning it just doesn't have the antimicrobial additive that we have in the Amec but beyond that Amec is more concentrated so it's actually a stronger cleaner um, so here's how I generally deal with interiors. I'm a huge fan, as you guys already know, of the damp shampoo method. Um, I didn't invent that. I just started talking about how I use it. Now everybody associates that with the Gary Dean interior method. So um, take a microfiber towel. I always start with a gallon of water. That's my favorite, favorite increment of water. You start with a gallon, you mix your dilutions, your products and that kind of thing by the gallon, and then you pour your diluted gallon um, into your 16 or 32 ounce bottle, whatever you use. So I always start with a gallon of water uh, and a microfiber towel. I soaked it in there, I rang it out, and this is what I use to damp, it's a damp towel, shampoo with the cleaner, uh, seats and interior and that kind of thing. So what we're gonna do, and I usually will use the thick nap side. I use these 16 by 16 uh, green towels. I have these in green, blue, orange, and yellow on detailjuice.com. They work amazing. They're a very high quality, all purpose towel, nothing fancy. And I also prefer the lower GSM, Graham's per square meter is what that stands for. So the thick nap side is gonna give you more bites. You wanna use that when you're cleaning your interior or anything else for that matter. Um, the thin nap side works amazing for removing polishes and that kind of thing. Uh, or even sealants or whatever you're trying to wipe off and remove as far as product wise. But when it comes to dirt, uh, the thick nap side is more aggressive. So I'll go ahead and spray this bolster here and this lower section with the Amec. Nothing fancy, let it sit for just a second to dwell and then I'll just go ahead in, put some elbow grease into it. I'm not gonna use any brushes or anything on this particular seat. I'm just going to go ahead and scrub it by hand, get some of that oil off. I could absolutely do a little bit more work by getting a hard bristle brush or even a softer brush uh, like a boar's hair or something like that could do a little bit more work. I don't think I'm going to need to, um, you know, being having the experience level that I have, you know, I know that what I can do uh, with certain things without even having to to do my testing or or anything like that. So these bolsters are nice and clean. I'm going to move on to other sections. I'm going to go ahead and saturate the rest of the seat. Now, with any cleaner, you don't want to let it dry on the surface. So, I'm gonna let it dwell for just a couple of seconds, and then I'm gonna go at it. Get in your nooks and crannies. Scrub it all really well. Not to let anything dry. Like I said, it's not gonna hurt anything if it dries, but there's no reason to let it dry. Plus, you don't want to leave cleaner inside your fabrics or your leather. It's just not good on it. Over time, I guess it could break things down and cause issues, but 
I've never noticed an issue. I just preach. Don't let it dry because it it's common sense. So got that seat good. So now I've done all the leather bits. Got a lot of dirt on the towel. So put the towel in. And the reason I use this gallon of water is so that I can wring my towel out. And this was a fresh, clean gallon of water. And I'm going to show you what I got off of <laughs> that leather. Check this out. Watch. I'm going to bring this outside and I'll show you. So now this is ready, clean, and ready to use on that other portion. See all that dirt that came off that towel or off that seat? Just the leather bits, the bolsters, and the top portion of the seat. Pretty nasty. That's all the body oils and that kind of thing. You'll notice it is now that it's dry, it's noticeably less greasy. Always film me like this. Sorry. It's noticeably less greasy. Um, it just looks better. Now, you'll notice all this dirt here and here. And then even in the back there. I'm gonna go ahead and soak this stuff down. You don't want to oversaturate. You don't want too much cleaner in there. This cleaner is not gonna hurt anything even if you leave it in. And just like I said. I always recommend that you don't let the cleaner sit or soak in and leave it. You wanna get it out, you wanna dilute it, because that's just common sense. It's the right thing to do. So the damp shampoo method, you work it in with this damp towel, do what you gotta do. Little elbow grease. Keep flipping your towel and working it until it comes pretty clean. Again, you get to the point of diminishing returns at some point where no matter how much more effort you put into something, you're not gonna get anything beneficial out of it. And that happens a lot in life. Relationships come to mind, but we're talking about cars. So I feel if I keep working this, I do not feel like I'm gonna get any better result than I have at this point. So I could spend all day long working on this seat for it to be marginally, if at all, better than it is right now. <sighs> Worked up a little sweat and I'm done. I'll let it dry and then I'll show you the finished product. I also damp shampooed this seat. If you'll notice, it looks very nice, free of oils. Got all the dirt and grime off the seat. Wipe the door jams, wipe, wipe down the interior, nothing fancy in there. It didn't need a lot. If you guys got any questions for me, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. And uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what I've got going on. If you want to be a uh, part of something bigger than detailing, check out that group. Send us a request. We'll get you in there to learn about my products. Uh, if you got questions for me, like I said, just contact me directly. Uh, but this, again, was a 2011 Cadillac CTSV. She's a beaut. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.